Hey everyone, Richard Gibbons here at MLSRIP for Self Assembly Lesson. I have a two for four for you today. We're going to cover how to copy a listing and then I want to talk a little bit about on market date as well. So, what you're going to do with copying a listing is say you have a listing that expired and it's been off the market for more than 30 days. If it's less than 30 days, you should be reactivating the listing, not copying it. But if you want to copy it and save yourself a bunch of work, you can go right here under menu and then add change and you click on copy. And all you got to do there is just enter the MLS number of the listing uh, that you want to copy. Now, keep in mind, of course, it can only be your own listings. Uh, make sure this copy photos button is checked and hit next. You're going to choose the property type you want to uh, copy it into. So in this case, we're just going to leave it as residential and click next. And then it'll bring you into the ad, uh, ad listing screen with a lot of the stuff already filled out for you. So you'll see it's going to bring in the address, you know, all the different things in main fields. Um, and then all of your you know, check boxes that were checked as well. So it's going to bring all that over for you. It's even going to bring in the photos for you. So save yourself a whole bunch of time there if you're reusing a previous listing. Now while we're in here, I want to talk a little bit about on market date because this is by far our number one most common uh, support question. Is, so the on market date is the day that you're going to begin marketing the property and that is regardless of whether it is an active status or a coming soon status. So like uh, today for example is the 8th. Um, if I put the on market date as the 10th, it is not visible to anybody in the MLS until the 10th and that's regardless of status. So you'll notice here if you, if you click on coming soon right here under status and change it, that coming soon end date becomes available and this is where people get it confused. On market date is going to be the beginning date for the listing to show up as coming soon in the MLS. So if I wanted that to be today, I would put today's date 3823. And then I want it to go into active on the coming soon end date, which can be up the maximum of 14 days away. But let's just say I want it to go active four days from now. So I would put in 312. 2023. And the thing to remember with this is that it goes into active at 12.01 a.m. on the date that you enter here. So the coming soon end date of 3-12-2023 means that at 12.01 a.m. on the 12th, the listing will go into active. So with this example, it is visible to the entire MLS on 3-8-2023 and it goes uh, as coming soon and then it goes into active on 3-12-2023. Uh, we do have all the verbiage here uh, on there, so if you're ever confused, just kind of slow down, take a second and read that. And then of course, if you have any questions, you, we always have our support at SWMLS down here at the bottom or 505-843-8833. We'll be happy to help. Thanks and have a great day.